Hello everybody. Welcome to Trina Kulik Designs. I am Trina. Um, I teach other ladies how to paint and cut their own wooden door hangers and inspire them to grow more confidence and have a business if that's what they want to do. So I wanted to come on here today and introduce myself to those that's new because I've had quite a few new people to hop on and um, like my page. So my name is Trina, like I said. If you have any questions, y'all please, please just ask away. Hey, Miss Peggy. Hey, Christine. Hey, Francine. Hey, Miss Kathy. Hey, ladies. How are y'all doing today? This is a very different angle. Y'all kind of up close and personal right now. Um, but I wanted to come on here today and just let everybody know that y'all, my inside scoop is open and share with y'all exactly what my inside scoop is all about, what you get when you join the inside scoop, and answer any questions that y'all may have. Hey, Brian or Renee. Um, I'm also going to be just practicing some hand lettering, y'all, because that has been one of our main focuses this past month in my inside scoop is hand lettering. And of course, we all know that practice makes perfect. Hey everybody, hey Carol. Well, hello Trina, good to see you. It's been a while. Hey Miss Tammy, hey Donna. Um, so this past month, we have been like hardcore hand lettering. Hey Miss Diane, I have released like three different modules this month on doing different letters in the alphabet and we finally got our last module out today. So they now have the full alphabet that they can actually practice and get better with their own hand lettering. And y'all, it's been so therapeutic. I have absolutely loved and enjoyed doing the hand lettering with my ladies. And it was practice for me. So I'm like, oh wow, you know, this is like the perfect practice for me to be able to get better at my hand lettering. Because y'all, handwriting and hand lettering is two total different things. Because I have the sloppiest handwriting that you will ever see a female have. I'm serious, I have a sloppy handwriting. And, but I've come to realize that hand lettering is not handwriting. And handwriting, you are fast and just, you know, uh, you do different things when you're just handwriting. But hand lettering, you're kind of focused on each individual letter. And that's something I've been trying to, like, teach my ladies in my inside scoop too, is we have to, you have to focus on each letter. Like you have to, just like when you was in elementary school and you was learning your ABCs, we have to learn all of these letters all over again in faux calligraphy style. So that's been super fun and super exciting. And I think that my ladies have like been rocking it as well. Hey, Brian, or no, sorry. Love you, chair. Thank you. I said I wanted something kind of funky in here. When I seen this, I was like, I've got to get that. I've got to get that chair. Hey, Miss Debbie. Um, hey, Miss Teresa. So if y'all have any questions at all about my inside scoop, I was kind of rambling about the hand lettering because it's just so much fun. It is so much fun. Um, I'm not the best at it, but I can tell you that with my practicing the past month, my hand lettering has improved tremendously. Like it is way better than it was a month ago. It's good and the Lord knows it's way better than it was six months ago. And that's just the thing is hand lettering is you got to practice. If you don't practice and don't put the work in to get better, you're just not going to wake up one morning and be able to hand letter. But in my inside scoop, I'm going to just briefly go over what my inside scoop is. And while I'm talking, so y'all don't have to look here at my frizzy, nappy head, I'm just going to scoot y'all down so y'all can kind of see the paper. And um, I'm going to start just practicing my hand lettering, y'all, because we all have to practice. So my inside scoop, y'all, it is a monthly subscription group. And I'm gonna have you down, so I probably won't be able to see much, but I will try my best to catch your questions if I can. Hey, Miss Dottie, hey, Kathleen. How are you ladies doing? <coughs> I don't have the corona, I just got a cough. Y'all might wanna close your eyes for a minute, don't get, ooh, y'all are so close. Okay. <laughs> Let me get try to get y'all straight. Is my view pretty good, y'all? Try to get y'all from like behind maybe and see if y'all can kind of see it this way. And Lord knows I may need to pull it up on the computer. Let me pull it up on my computer real quick, y'all, because guess what? 
I can't see nothing. So yeah, y'all give me just a second. Let me get y'all straight here. Let me get you pulled up kind of like this. Here we go. I might can see you a little bit better like that. That happens to me sometimes. I can hear you though. Yay! Oh, thank you so much. You want to learn, you want to learn better hand lettering too? It is definitely practice. Okay, so y'all can see this pretty good. It's not the best view, but it'll be all right. Let me pull it up on my Facebook on my own computer real quick. And I'm going to be chatting to y'all. So, my inside scoop, it is a subscription group and it's $37 a month. And what happens in that group, y'all, is what you will get. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me turn my volume down because I definitely don't want to hear me. What you will oh, get. Thank you so oh, much. dear Lord. Wait a minute. Mute that thing. Mute it. What you will get is I give you two templates a month. Uh, and temp those templates are for you to use any way you want to use. You can sell it, uh, whatever you want to do with it. Hey, Miss Donna. Hey, Galanda. And I show you exactly like how to get your template onto your wood and to get it cut out. There's like tons and tons of cutting tutorial. I am blurry on my end. Am I blurry to y'all? Yay, Barb. But I also teach you. Can I go ask you wake up? Yeah. I ain't going to practice. Sorry, y'all. You got practice at 6.30. What time you? You have to ask him, will you be back? Will he be back in about 30, about 40 minutes? Close that door. Close the door. Sorry, y'all. Real life here. Um. So, no, it's not blurry. Okay, yay, Miss Peggy. Not blurry. Yay. Well, I'm actually like locked up on mine, my end. Oh, why are you being like this? There we go. I'm starting to move now. So, but I also give you, what do y'all, what can I hand letter just to be practicing? And y'all, like I said, I'm not a pro. I'm still learning and I'm practicing, but I'm teaching my inside, my inside scoop ladies in there. Um, the kind of hand lettering that I've been like taking, cause I've took some courses. I bought a book. I've joined a group. And so I've done all the all the things to try to like improve my hand lettering. And like I said, y'all, it's just so much fun. But you also get a tutorial. Let me just do, let's do inside scoop. But you also get a tutorial each month with the two templates that I provide to y'all. And I'll show you how to paint those um, two designs. I give you a supply list of everything that you need. Wait a minute, inside, oh dear Lord. Wait a minute, I done misspelled inside, y'all. See there, y'all got me all nervous. But <laughs> I show you like how to, to paint them, how to get them cut out, because I've got like several, several different um designs in there. I meant tutorials. Wait a minute, inside. Y'all, I'm losing my train of thought on how to, y'all, forgive me. We are viewing the backwards though. Okay, let me flip y'all. Y'all, y'all gonna have to just give me a sec. I'm trying, I can't do two things at one time. I'm trying to talk and, and um, there we go. I'm trying to talk and try to write and it's just, it's not gonna go good together. So, but we also have like some guest speakers to come in. Um, they either do a technique with us or either they uh, like paint a design for us. Um, so it is so much fun. We have a Q&A through Zoom. Y'all see how that just looks right now? Now watch after I actually put my downstrokes and stuff, my stuff down here how it's gonna make it like, just look way on better. And like I said, y'all, I am not no pro at this. There's so many people that's a lot better than I am with hand lettering, but my hand lettering has improved so much over the past month, and I'm kind of proud of it. You know, when you do something and you're proud of it, 
this is something that I have been proud of because I have been doing door hangers for goodness for um for seven years now and I've never really like focused on my hand lettering but now calligraphy the faux calligraphy is so popular and everybody just loves it so much I said you know what I better get my booty on board and learn how to hand letter because that's what everybody wants. So I have like really put effort in it and to try to improve my hand lettering. And in my process of learning it, I've been trying to teach it to my to my members as well. And it's just been so much fun. And like I said, I'm still not the best at it. But Lord knows if y'all could see my hand lettering from two months ago, you would probably fall out and say, yeah, she's definitely got improvement with her lettering. So, all right, so I, I have to kind of like move my sheets around y'all to kind of like straighten things out. Hey Carol, what is the pen you're using? This is just a permanent marker. They're the Sharpie, well they're not the Sharpie, but they're the Amazon Basics permanent markers. But I have took a class that had like really, really inspired me and made me realize that um, hand lettering was not as hard as I thought it would be. Though there is, there's a lot of learning curves to it. And you just, you really, really have to practice it to get it. And like I said, I've still got so much I need to practice on doing. But um, it's a lot better than what it used to be. And so this month in my inside scoop, we have focused on um, doing the lowercase faux calligraphy. And it's been like super fun. I'm not going to connect my two O's there. And I think I'm going to come from here and just to kind of make this a little bit more fancier. Like that. Hey, I joined the Inside Scoop yesterday. Yay, Tammy! I'm so excited to learn all the things. Tammy, be sure to go and request to join the Inside Scoop. Now, make sure you're not coming to, you're not joining the guide to the Inside Scoop, but the just the Trina's Inside Scoop. So you see how? But the thing is, y'all, is you can do like just write your words out, and it looks like terrible. But once you do your downstrokes, those downstrokes is what's going to make all your words just pop. And learning those downstrokes and stuff is kind of like a, you have to train your brain to like get to, to almost like learning the new, the alphabet in a new way. Because you're going to be doing different styles. There's some letters, y'all, that still is almost like, you know, what I was taught in school. But then there's some that, you know, has its own new little twist to it to make it calligraphy or faux calligraphy. Oh, she did request to join? Okay. I had not even looked. Hey, Janie. Thank you so much. Yeah, but like I said, I do not claim to be... And I tell my ladies this all the time. And the reason that I have um, our modules for hand lettering is called learning hand lettering one-on-one -on -one with Trina is because y'all, I'm, I'm learning it. Y'all, my ladies are learning it right along the side of me. So it's been, it's just been super fun and it's been a really fun experience. And, um, and it's, it's helped me like tremendously with my lettering because the more you practice it of course the better you're going to get you cannot get better at anything if you don't practice it one of the biggest takeaways or something that you the biggest takeaway you can take from me still like what i'm going to say is lettering is slow you don't want to rush when you're doing your lettering because you're not, it's just, it's not handwriting. It is just a slow process and you have to just get the feel of it and the flow of it with your hands. Is that scoop? Yes, that is scoop. 
So inside scoop. <coughs> the inside scoop. Yay, caught you live. Love this. Thank you, Miss Faye. I'm glad that you're here. All right, I must go through my questions and see if I see or see if anybody had any questions. So, Christine, did you approve um, Miss Tammy? We can go ahead and get her in the group if she's already requested. I'm new here, but I'm hearing a Louisiana accent. April, I, um, I live in South Carolina. South Carolina. In a little town that is hard to even find in the GPS. Let's see. Let me see if I can write the name April. I have, we have not done our capital, our uppercase letters yet. But I'm going to try to do April. Let me see if I can do April. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to like start from here. And then maybe let's do this. All right, I'm gonna Sorry if I'm missing your comments y'all I will look up in just a minute. Let me get this Let me get this name going It takes concentration y'all Because like I said, I am still learning and it is so much fun learning something new but I can definitely tell that I have learned a lot. Hmm, maybe I need to bring, let me see if I bring my P down just a little bit. Maybe I should have attached my P with my, with my, um, A. Welcome, Tammy. Thank you so much. You just approved her. Hey, yay. Your dream is to live there, April? Where are you from? And why do you want to live in South Carolina? I mean, I know there's some pretty places in South Carolina, but it's just so much. I don't know. I just feel like everybody, where everybody else lives is just so much prettier than where we live at. I guess because we have such flat land and... Like, there's not much to see. You're either going to look at the trees or you're going to look at a field. And that is about it. So, why do you, would you want to move to South Carolina? I have been trying order the books, pens intense practice you are doing good oh thank you debbie yeah i am very new well not like new new but i've just started like really hardcore doing hand lettering so i'm still learning all the do's and the don'ts and what's important and all the real fundamental stuff of hand lettering i think i'm gonna come from here let me see wait a minute Well, let's go from here and maybe like come inside there just to kind of get that little space there. And I'm going to like make that a little downstroke. Okay, so there's April. And like I said, it's not the best, but it's a lot better. My sister wants to live in Charleston. She had her wedding there a few years ago. Charleston is pretty. Charleston is very pretty. So April says, I love everything about South Carolina. I live, I love Charleston. I live in suburbs outside of Memphis. Yeah, Charleston is very pretty. 
You're doing awesome. I do custom cookies and I've been working on my lettering on cookies. Ooh, and this is very helpful even for cookie wording. Ah, cookies. I would like to do cookies. I think you have to have like a, a lot of, a lot of patience for cookies. Does it take a lot of patience, April, for cookies? Which y'all, I Lord knows I try, but um, I'm so not a baker. All right, so let's do, do you pencil your letters on a board or paper when you do a project, then go back with permanent marker? Yes, Miss Becky, I do. Yes, because maybe one day I'll be good enough not to really have to do the pencil first, but as of right now, I definitely have to do the pencils first. Karen, I live 20 minutes from North Myrtle Beach. Oh, Karen, you're not far from me then. Mary, I like to eat cookies. I watched a professional do this, and you're doing a great job, just as good as she did. Oh, Tammy, thank you so much. Let me try your name, Tammy, because a, um, two M's side by side. Let me see if I can do that. That was, That's going to be a challenge. Let me see. I'm going to do the T. And, and if I mess this up, Tammy, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to try your name. I'm going to try your name. With two M's side by side. Lord help me. Okay. So there's the way Tammy looks so far. What kind of pen are you using? Miss Mary, this is just the um, the Amazon permanent pens that I showed y'all in the group. It is so much cheaper than getting the Sharpie markers. Does the type of pen make the difference to you? Debbie, it does it for me. That, look, um, that looks great. I've been practicing my lettering and it's so fun. It is so fun, isn't it, Miss Faye? Yeah, Debbie, with the, the markers, um, Like, I, I always practice and just use, a, like, a marker or a pencil. Just something that has, you know, a mono tip, which is something that no matter what your pressure is with your pen, you're still going to get the same kind of line. Now, you can get the, like, the calligraphy markers and stuff that has the brush pens, the brush tips. But I... Not for what I'm doing. Now, if I was going to be like maybe doing invitations or something like that, then I probably would maybe try to like practice more with a brush tip, like faux calligraphy or calligraphy pen. But um, I don't use it. So the markers and stuff looks works great for what I use it for. Kind of messed up there, Tammy, on that M. But if you want to be part of a community where we're we're learning all of this and we're trying to improve our hand lettering, then y'all, my my inside scoop, it is it is like the perfect place right now because we are hardcore working on hand lettering for the next like two or three months this past month we did the lowercase hand lettering um june we're going to be hitting the uppercase and then we're going to actually start be practicing actually like building words together oh thank you so much sarah have you been talking have you been taking a class trina just joining Miss Teresa, I have took a online course for hand lettering. I sure have. And I've um I bought a hand lettering book that has like did wonders for me. Mom, I didn't go ask him because he was being mean he won't turn him back around and he'll bring me back. 
Okay, well, I'm on live right now, okay? And you want to hug. All right, baby. And then we're going to just start building, like learning how to uh, put our words to, or our letters together and making words. But yeah, I have definitely like improved huge, like big time, y'all, with the hand lettering book that I that I purchased and the course I took. And I'm also in a group that's with hand lettering, and so it all it's. All of it together has just really helped me. And then anytime that I learn something, I'm always like taking courses or something to learn me different things or new things that I can go and teach my insiders how to do. So when I look at Tammy, I think it looks pretty good, but I do think that I should have spaced my two ends out a little bit further apart. So I think that's where I kind of messed up there. And then of course I made my my M, my downstroke on my M here a little too thick. And we have an absolutely amazing time doing us. Miss Mary, thank you so much. Oh geez, I struggle so much with writing. I'm the worst. Miss Penny, I bet you're not as bad as you think you are. Cause girlfriend, you should have seen mine, my hand lettering two months, three months ago. It was not that great. And my hand lettering a year ago, oh my gracious, it was awful. You took a snapshot, Tammy? Oh no, because I really don't think, you, I don't think I spaced that out enough. And then I downstroked it too much. Thank you, Karen. Y'all are so sweet. You have to be careful with brush pens. I bought a bunch that I don't like. I agree, a marker is easier. Miss Faye, I, I bought one brush pen, and it probably wasn't like the best brush pen. Um, Like this one. It's like that pit artist pen, and I do not like it. And I haven't used it that much, and it's already about out of ink. But I would rather, much rather, it's so bad how to get better. Miss Penny, you just have to practice, practice, and practice. I have been practicing and practicing. And like with my insiders, um, let me try to do Penny because you got two ends in there. See, like I need practice with having double words or double letters. Like when there's two letters side by side of the same, there that's where I need practice at too. So let me try Penny because you got two ends. Um, let's see. I think, do I want to just do like a regular P or do I want to do like a fancy P? Let's just do, I don't know, let's like curve it off and come up. And then we're going to come up here. I don't know. No, I don't want to do it that way because then that's not going to be, that's not going to be right. Let me see. Let me look in my book and see about the uppercase P's. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Yeah, cause see, I bought this book from, um, it's from Danielle Stringer. If y'all have not been watching her, Watching other people hand letter to y'all is like super helpful. So she's got a P that does her P's kind of her P I kind of do like this and then loop down and then she has it like coming up and then doing that. But watching other people hand letter y'all, I can sit there and watch someone else hand letter all day long. But it also helps with your improve, improvement because you can kind of watch how they're, like their brush strokes and it will just make it so much easier the next time you do it, then you kind of know kind of how to do it or how to hold your pen or, you know, just watching someone else y'all can really help you along the way. Will you send us an email when you remove us from the inside scoop? So we yes, Miss Francine, don't you worry about that. I will get y'all straight. You have that same book, Miss Penny. 
Uh, see, this is the book that really made me be like, okay, Trina, you can totally, I don't know, there was just something about this book and the way Danielle was teaching that I was, it just hit me and I've never had something hit me like that to make me realize that I absolutely can do this. And hers did. I just messed that pee up a little bit. But yes, so if you've got that book, just practice it and just go over it and over it and over it. And I know it's so aggravating to have to practice it so much, y'all. But that is the only way to, like, improve um, with your hand lettering is to practice. So let's see. Let's do, um, let me see. I'm trying to figure this out. And let's see about... How do I want to start my P? So do I want to start like with like a curve? Let's see. All right, so let's do Penny, which is got two ends, and I think I just went too close to that. I think I really did get too close again. Of course I did. But yeah, I I just her course and her her hand lettering book really inspired me and made me see that it wasn't as hard as as I was making it out to be. And it really does take take time and effort just to practice. If you're not gonna practice it, then you're probably not gonna get any better because it, you're not just gonna wake up one night or one morning and just have your hand lettering down pat. Yes, Miss Penny, you definitely do. I have been so, I've been so much and it's horrible. I've been doing Waymakers trying to get better. Oh, Jessica is so good, Miss Penny. Jessica's a natural. I'm actually in Jessica's group too, just for her hand lettering. Cause she, she does amazing. And there's some, like, Jessica's um, way of teaching is totally different, I think, than, like, mine. And it's totally different than, like, the courses, the other courses that I've took. Um, and you just have to kind of, you have to figure out which style is going to work best for you. Hey, Miss Betty, can I see the book, please? Didn't see it, just found you. Patricia, yes. I actually need to be an affiliate for this lady. <laughs> but this is the book. It's called Lettering for Absolute Beginners Workbook. It's by Danielle Stringer, y'all. And she's here on Facebook. Her Facebook page is called Imperfect Dust. Her hand lettering and just her teaching style of it, just, I don't know. It just made me realize, like I said, that I could totally do this. Hey, Bootsy. She makes me feel horrible. Not on purpose, but oh, Penny, you will get it. Just keep at it. If you if you keep at it and you work at it, you, you're going to get it. Don't doubt yourself. Do not doubt yourself. Because I doubted myself for years and years and years. And um, I've got more confidence now in my hand lettering than I think I've ever had. And though I know it's not, it's still not the best, but it's better. It's a lot better than it was. So don't ever doubt yourself in thinking that you cannot do it because you totally can. Oops, I just went way, see my little boo-boo right there? And it takes patience, y'all. That's one thing that I had to learn too. It takes patience to actually be able to do it. So there's Penny. That didn't turn out too bad. I think I still need to space out my two ends a little bit more. I did the same thing with my ends up there. I just got them a little bit too close together. Uh, Miss Francine, Danielle, you can order her books off of Target. They was on Amazon, but it was kind of like um, Amazon was kind of pri price gouging her books, and they had them like for $46 or $47. So, um, I don't know if it's still like that on Amazon or not, but you can check and see. 
But then she also, she have some, um, she will have some on her website. But I want to say she said that they're on back order right now. So it will be at least a month before she actually gets any books. But you can definitely for sure like message her to find out. Miss Penny, I couldn't do it about a year ago. So just stick with it and I, I know you will be able to get it. Thank you, Miss Faye. Um, she's the one I was watching. You're as good as her. Oh my goodness, Tammy. I wish I was. She was my inspiration. I will definitely say that. She inspired me to and made me really see that I I can totally do this if I just put the work into it. I get lazy sometimes, y'all, and that's what it is. I got I got lazy and didn't really want to put the work into it. And um finally decided that it was time to to put the work in it and get the practice in and get it done. Because my ladies in my group needed it. Can you show me what my name should look like? Ooh, Miss Marilyn, let me write your name down just so I won't forget how to spell it. M-A-R-I-L-Y-N. Ooh, you got a long name, Miss Marilyn. Ooh, Lord, got me nervous now. Let me see. I will try. You know I struggle with my M's as well. Mm. Okay, so M-A-R. <clears throat> All right, so let's try Miss Marilyn's name. And I am not good with spacing either. I can't really determine my spacing until I actually get there, if that makes sense. Like, I might even run out of room with your name, Miss Marilyn. <laughs> Okay, so here's Miss Marilyn, and now we're gonna do our downstrokes. And let's see if I can make it come together. But in my inside scoop, I will teach you, like you have, we have three different modules for doing just the lowercase letters like this. You know, we talk about the downstrokes and the upstrokes, and, um, in June, we're going to be doing the uppercase letters like this. And we're going to start like trying to do some words, putting words together. I give them some practice sheets that they can do. All they have to do is print them out and use them to practice with. And um, then... We also have like a craft we do. So if you're a crafter and you like crafting, we also do a craft, which is so much fun. That's about one of my favorite things about the group is I love craft time. And you get a supply list for that. Sorry, y'all. I know this this is slow. If y'all see anybody that's lettering and they're like super fast, oh my goodness, I don't know how in the world they do it. Looks so easy for you, Miss Marilyn. Thank you. Sorry to ask, but could you put the name of her on here for me? Uh, yes, let me put in perfect. Wait a minute, I thought I was typing, but I'm not. In perfect dust. And I would tag her. Let me see. I might could tag her, but I'm not sure if I can. Um, okay, let's see, imperfect, no, get off there, imperfect, what did I do? Let me see if I can tag it, E-M-P-E-R, imperfect, dust, is it going to pull it up? Here it is, okay, I think I can tag it, all right, I did, I just tagged it for you, it's um, right there, well, it went away, I don't know, let me pin it, should I pin comment? I'll pin it. So there we go.
but we have, like I said, the two designs a month. And I have, like, y'all cutting tutorials in there from the past, oh, goodness, two and a half or two years um, that you can go by and learn all the cutting um, by using a jigsaw. <gasps> oh, and one big thing. This is, like, a huge change for my inside scoop. But I've also teamed up or collaborated or I'm not sure what you would call it with an actual person that's going to cut. So if you don't cut your own door hangers, then I have a provider that's going to cut just our designs for us if you want to order them from there instead of cutting your own. So that is like a super plus. And not only that, you will actually receive, you can get... 15% off of any of their designs that they have on their website by using a code that you will get from being inside of the um, inside of my group. So if you're not comfortable with cutting, you know, I got you covered in there too. So do y'all practice lettering in the group as well as, as do craft projects. Sorry if this has been asked, my connection. No, April, you're totally fine. Yes, we have been practicing our hand lettering. We do two door hangers a month. Like, this was one of our, sorry y'all, my head's in the way. This was our door hanger that we had a guest come in and teach us for May. So we do two door hangers a month, and then we also do a craft a month. Oh, thank you so much, Deb. I may book is supposed to be delivered Thursday. I can't wait. I got, oh, yes. Um, Deborah, you're going to love it. I highly recommend her book. Um, I've been trying to handle it. Christy, just keep on practicing because you will definitely get it, honey. Did you try to use your Cricut yet? Didn't you, Bob? I did buy one, um, Shannon, and I have not used it, but maybe twice. Um, that's one reason why I waited so long to buy one because I just don't, did not real. I wasn't sure about having the time to learn something new and I was so right. I just haven't had time to actually mess with it too much, but I did get one. So maybe, maybe soon I will get the time to mess with it and kind of learn it a little bit more all right miss Marilyn, how's this looking so far for you all right let's put our dot there so there's miss Marilyn's name hey miss kathy again hey miss pam and miss patricia you're welcome so there's Miss Marilyn. Can you see it, Miss Marilyn? Is Miss Marilyn still on here with us? Now, what I do want to do more is like do some bounce in my lettering, my lettering, but I think that all that comes with practice as well. So, and if I miss your comments, I am so sorry. I will go through now and see. Thank you, Patricia. Um. I think I don't, I think I've seen everybody's comments. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Chris, I didn't see you join, girlfriend. How are you doing? All right, I think I have got everybody's comments. That is the first. My daughter gave me one for Mother's Day. I am trying to figure this thing out. Was hoping you could give me tutorials. Oh, Miss Shannon, Lord have mercy. <laughs> no, I've got my niece coming and she try she tries to help me out. I know like how to do a uh, make a um like a stencil and stuff with it, but I've only messed with it doing like the words. Actually doing a design, I have no idea how to do that yet. It looks really good. Now I know what it should look like. Thank you, Miss Marilyn. 
Can you make my name pretty? Can I make your name pretty, Miss Beatty? I can try, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see if I can do Miss Beatty. You got two T's. I commented on how good it looks. Girl, me too. That's what I also have missing, the bounce. Yeah, the bounce is, we have to get used to the bounce. There are tons of Cricut tutorials on YouTube. Yeah, and there's also some um, Cricut um, groups as well. <coughs> also some tons of, uh, um, like I said, there was like, let's do Miss Betty. Let's see. Let's look in my book. Because like I said, we have not done our uppercase letters yet. That's coming this month. Um, I don't really like that B. That B's not fancy at all. Yeah, I like the more fancy stuff. I don't know why, but I like the fancy stuff. Let's do that B. So let me see if I can do this B. So we're gonna come, we're gonna come down. Gonna come down. And then we're gonna come up. So like this. And that looks so weird right now, doesn't it? Looks so, so, so weird. I'm going to thicken up my downstrokes on that B so I can kind of see how it's going to be looking. Yes, yeah, so if you have any questions about my inside scoop, and if you've been on the fence about joining, y'all, I promise you, it is the perfect time to join. Life is just slowed down for everybody, and it is, um, I have, like, an amazing group of ladies in there that just is so, so sweet and willing to, to help anybody. All right, now let's do, let's do the E. I'm gonna kind of put you a chunky little E there, Miss Betty. And then we're gonna do our T. You know what, let's do the bounce, let's do a, I'm not quite sure if that's the best. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and let's get our down strokes going here. Sorry about the way that marker sounds. In the silence. <laughs> uh, Patricia, it is $37 a month. Hey, Miss Wendy. And of course, you know, you can cancel any time that you want to cancel. You're not, like, in there forever. Um, but I hope that once you get in there, you just fall in love with the ladies and have a good old time and never want to leave us. We actually, we do like a Marco Polo. I don't know if any of you have, you've ever heard of Marco Polo, but we do that and we just chit chat with each other and we can actually see each other's faces. And y'all, they are just always just talking to each other. I've been kind of busy this past weekend and I've looked and I've been trying to listen like to all of our Marco Polos over the past few or this weekend. And they have been just little chatterboxes up in there this week. Or the weekend. And it's just been, it's just so much fun for them, I think. I'm going to thicken some of this stuff up. Because it looks a little bit too, I don't know. But the thing with hand lettering is once you get it and you learn it, you can actually start like adding your own little twist to, to certain letters to make it, your own style. And that's the fun part. 
is learning that just because somebody else does it one way, that don't mean that's the only way that it can be done. You can add your own, oops, little twist to it. So there's Miss Betty. Miss Betty. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Tammy. Love this. Would love for you to make my name all pretty. So, Ashley. All right, Miss Ashley. I will try my best. Let's do Ashley. All right, let's see. Um... Let's do maybe, this is a new, let's see if I go from here, let me get a, well, darn, I don't have a pencil. So I'm going to go from, let me come down here, I'm going to go from here, we're going to go up and around. Okay, that A looks so funky, don't it? It looks funky, funky. All right, so let's see if we can do Ashley. Um, Ashley, I think I'm going to do just a regular style like S for you. Um, if I didn't already mess it up, but I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. I messed it up. Okay, so we got to start over. I don't like that one. Um, let's see. Maybe we need to do a simple A. <laughs> Something more my level. Okay. I don't know. I kind of like that A, though. Well, hey, Miss Brenda, and welcome. I want to do calligraphy for addressing invitations. What's the best way to go about that? Ooh, Miss Sharon. Um, I would say if you was going to do it for invitations, then I would probably try to learn with an actual, like, brush tip pen. Some kind of special, like, calligraphy pen and not a mono tip. Um... But then I don't know, so I've never done it, so um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to master this A before we do this. I've got to do this A because that A is so pretty. Let me come this way. Um, so let's do that A. We're going to come. All right, and I'm putting a lot of bounce in this, Ashley. A lot of bounce. All right, and let's go here. Okay, my own view. You like that? Hey, I did too. I thought it was so pretty. I just love the the loopy loos. That's what I call them, the loopy loos. The loopy loops. Okay, so we're going to go up. And that is a down stroke there. So we're going to fill that in. All right. Can y'all hear that marker making that awful noise? So I'm so sorry. And y'all please, I mean, I'm really still learning. I am trying my best like to master this and so I have just been practicing, and that's what this is right here for me. This is just practice. I said I might come on here and look like a big old dummy and have the sloppiest handwriting there is, but it, hopefully it will encourage somebody just to, to go for it and do it. 
You like, oh, I read that one. Hello, first time here, really beautiful. Thank you, Miss Brenda, and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I love seeing new people come on and um, let me know that they're new. But yeah, I would definitely um, probably, you probably gonna have to play with different pens and see which one works for you when you're doing the invitations. And the funny thing is, y'all, is I really, I couldn't do none of this six months ago. Would love to learn how to do this. I would love to see my name. Miss Lindsay, I would do, let me write Lindsay down. Lindsay, your name seems to be fun. So, Mary. So, I'll do Lindsay and Mary. Yeah, I'm slow. I'm sorry. I'm not fast at all with this. <laughs> I have to really take my time. And like I said, because I am still learning these letters myself and trying to perfect them. But it is so much fun learning these things, y'all. And it's so fun to... I don't know. I love teaching it, too. How did you learn? Did you take a class? Miss Wendy, I did take a class, and I ordered me a book. Um, I have, anytime I see anybody lettering on Facebook, I, am, I have my eyes on them. I focus, and, like, I watch them, and just watch it, and watch it, and watch it. Because, believe it or not, Watching somebody else lettering and like watching how when they're lifting their pen up and when they're um, Where they're putting their down strokes and stuff that that helps tremendously It does something that um, I didn't realize that it did and then I like I said y'all I haven't really worried too much about my hand lettering and then it's like all of a sudden, faux calligraphy is everywhere, and everybody just, they love it. And doing door hangers and stuff, you know, I'm like, you know, my ladies, they really need to be able to do this. So, I've got to perfect this so I can teach them how to do it. And so, that's what I've been doing. I've been just practicing, and like I said, Lord, I'm still learning, and trying to get better at it myself there's a lot of there's still a lot of stuff that i know i need to learn and a lot more practicing all right miss ashley there is your name first time watching you i have been wanting to learn how to do hand lettering can you recommend a beginner book uh miss lisa yes i would recommend the lettering for absolute beginners workbook by danielle um stringer she's got a website I mean, well she's got a website and she's here on facebook but it's Imperfect Dust. I absolutely... This is the book that had inspired me to, to letter. So, and this pinned down in the comments. So that's 6.30, baby. What time is it? I don't know. Thank you so much for sprinkling, Miss Brenda. What? I appreciate that. I don't know, baby. You have to go ask Danny. It's 6... Oh, wait. Is it 6.08? Well, go ask Daddy. Is he going to take your practice? Because I've got a... I have a Zoom Please meeting with some it. people. Cancel it. I can't cancel it. Yeah, you can. Hand me that on. Oh, yes, you can. I'm on live. Don't start that. I dropped my pen. Top. My cap. This is beautiful may have to change my name. <laughs> Ashley, that Ashley was pretty, wasn't it? That was a pretty name, Ashley. And Miss Betty, did you see Miss Betty? 
You're trying to freehand Happy Summer on a door hanger. My handwriting is, oh no, Miss Jan. Yes, Tracy, I, yes, it, it is sold out. On her website, it's sold out. I think she announced that she's gonna, it's gonna be like a month um, before she gets them in. Now, Target did have some, so you can check Target. Just Target online, not in the stores. And then um, Amazon had some, had some, but I don't know if they're still pri price gouging. But they had it up like 46 or 47 dollars on Amazon, and um, like I don't think hers wasn't, but like 18 dollars. So I'm not sure. I you know, I guess it kind of depends on really, you know, what you're willing to pay. Maybe she'll have some more, like I said, and I think she said about a month. So there's Lindsay. She said today. Oh, thank you, Katina. Or Katrina. No, Katina. I would do Katina, then do Lindsay here, and then Mary. And then I'm gonna have to hop off. Um, Eli's, my son's got ball practice. I gotta go make sure that his daddy's gonna take him. Because I actually have a Zoom, Zoom meeting with some of my best friends, best ladies. So I've got to go and do all that. But y'all, this has been so much fun, and this is so, so good for practice for me. So I appreciate y'all coming on here and actually putting me on the spot with like asking for your names. I was definitely not gonna do that because I was like, there is no way I'm not good enough to do names yet. So y'all have made me like get out of my comfort zone and do it scared. <laughs> And that's what makes it fun, too, is when you're just doing it scared. If y'all hear something, that ain't nothing but my stomach. My stomach is making all kind of noises. And y'all, I had to like practice with my things to get them right. All right, did I spell this right, Lindsay? L-I-N-D-S-E-Y. It's one thing I'm nervous about um, coming on here and, and doing names, too, is because I'm like, I'm going to probably misspell everybody's name. All right, so there's Lindsay. Oh, let me dot your I there. So there's Lindsay. I'm going to try to order after this. Life is over. Thank you, Mary. <coughs> You just got done working. I'll have to go back and work. Yeah, Jesse. All right, so we, I said I was going to do Mary and then um, Katina. So let's do Mary.
Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so slow at this. Okay. All right. We're getting this M done. This M, y'all, an M has been so hard for me. It has took me a while to kind of get okay with my M's. And, like, each time I do an M, it seems like it's different every time I do it. Hey, Miss Esther. Yes, you love it. Yay, Lindsay. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know why my M's are always different. But they are, they're like, kind of just have their own little thing going on. And I try to, try to get them somewhat to look the same and just never can get them to look exactly the same. I don't know what it is about them. Oh, thank you, Carol. All right, so I'm going to... I had to twist my paper a little bit, y'all. Sometimes I have to twist my paper to kind of work with my letters the way I need them to go. I wish I'd have put a bit, like a little bit more bounce in that, on that R there. Could have like came down a little bit more with that R and that would have been like really pretty. Would have been really pretty. Ooh, I really thickened that side of that on. Um, that Y. But it's okay. It's just practicing. Let me try to straighten this out, y'all. Okay. It's a little bit thicker than I would have put, but we make it work. All right, how about that, Miss Mary? Miss Mary, like I said, a bounce on this R would've been like really cute. Or maybe more bounce on the A there. Oh, I love that a lot, thank you. You're welcome. All right, then the last one is gonna be Katina. So how many have we done? I did Ashley, Betty, Lindsay and Mary. I thought there was another one. Oh, I did do April. And then we did Tammy and Penny and then Miss Marilyn. So let's do um, Katina and then I'm going to hop off of here. And if y'all ladies have any questions about my inside scoop, it will be open until June the 1st. Excuse me, y'all. If y'all heard that, I just burped and I did not mean to. All right, so let's do Katina. Ooh. I think I'm just going to kind of go with it and do a, I don't know. Let me see how the K's are done in capital. In the uppercase K's. Okay, so maybe, I don't know. That one's not a fancy K or nothing at all. Um... I don't know, maybe we could do like this one. Let's do Katina. Let's do like this. Then we're gonna grab this K over here and we're gonna do the loopy loop there. And we're gonna bring this up and around. So we're gonna do that K. Now let me fill this all in. Right 
bring that up and make it like really loop like that. And then we're going to come here and put that there. Let's do our thicken our down strokes there. I'm actually going to thicken that one as well, right there. All right. You got one at Barnes & Noble? Ooh. So, Miss Tracy said that she ordered her book from Barnes & Noble. All right. So, let's do the A. I have not heard her say that she had them at Barnes and Noble, but that is so good to know. If you can't find it, you can just join my group and I can teach you. <laughs> Along with so much more stuff. So if you've ever had a desire to paint, y'all, um, then I would definitely love to have you in my group. So I can kind of walk right along beside you and teach you, to, you know, what I know and just help you. Whether you're doing it for you know, as a hobby, or you're doing it as, you know, you want to do it for, ooh, sorry, Katina, I just kind of put a little dot there, and didn't mean to, um, but I actually go over a lot of, like, business stuff in my group, too, there's tutorials on there on how to set up an Etsy page, how to start your, uh, Facebook business page, so I have a lot in there on the business side, we talk a little bit about, like, SEO, so, it's not just for the hobbyists. If you want to do it as a business, I do have some little um, trainings in there for for the business side of it, too. All right. So, I'm just going to do the line straight across for this one since we have done the other ones. All right. So, Katina, there is that one. And I'm sorry about the little dot there. So, there's that. I'm froze up on my end. She just said today that they have... They had some available. Oh. Let me see if I've missed any questions. Oh, my Lanta. I thought that you were in the inside scoop doing this. Oh. <laughs> no, Jesse, I'm on my page. But I appreciate all your girl and your information. Uh, let's see. Where did you get your lettering book? I don't answer that. All right. It's pinned to the bottom. Um, what was the book again? I missed that. Yeah, it is pinned to the bottom. It is um, <coughs> Lettering for Absolute Beginners Workbooks um, by Danielle Stringer. And she is on Facebook called Imperfect Dust. Maybe she will come out with a... Um, some kind of... um Something a little bit... To where she can get her books a little bit faster. Because I don't know if it's just a, the supplier that she's using right now. Or the publisher. Or I, I don't know. But um. So anyway. So with this y'all. I think I should, probably should have brought my A a little bit closer here. And that probably would have brought it a little bit together. But we're learning. Thank you Miss Penny. All right, so ladies, I'm going to hop off of here. Um, let me get y'all back this way so I can kind of see you. I like to kind of see what I'm, who I'm talking to so I can end it. And my battery, my phone's about to go dead, y'all. It's saying low battery. Okay.
So if y'all have any questions at all, um, just drop them in the comments or you can private message me. I will be happy to answer anything that you may have concerning my inside scoop. Um, she said her publisher was not prepared for the load that she's getting. I bet so. Have a good evening and thank you for the lessons. You're welcome, Miss Mary. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Miss Maryland. So, if you have any questions, just let me know or either just head on over to trinikillickdesigns.com. Click that inside scoop tab and come on and join us because we are having loads of fun with hand lettering and painting and crafting inside the inside scoop and we would love to have y'all to join us all right i will probably see y'all again i don't know one day this week um so until then y'all have a fantastic night and thanks so much